so there's the first step. It's a beautiful capacitor with an amazing gear mechanism that Pete Giuliano sent to me a while back. And I've been using for the, waiting for the, the proper project and moment to use it. This is clearly it. I'm gonna leave this capacitor on top of the chassis so that it can be viewed in all of its magnificence. The receiver is gonna be very simple. I'm gonna build the stages in these Altoid-like boxes that Elisa got for me a while back. I'll have one that'll have probably the bandpass filter and mixer. I'm gonna have another that will probably have 455KC IF amplifier, 10KC 455KC ceramic filter, and another IF amplifier. And then this one will probably have just the AM detector and audio frequency amplifiers. I'll probably need another box that will go below, below deck, that will hold the powered circuitry for the VFO, which will have as its main feature this magnificent capacitor. And for the coil, I'm using a bit of England. This is an Eddystone socket, probably go right around here. And this is a wonderful 1.7 micro Henry coil that I picked up in a regen receiver back at the Kempton Rally many years ago. So I figured out how to get the coil and the cap to produce oscillation in the needed frequency range to get this thing inhaling from 9.4 to 9.9 .9 megahertz, which is the 39 meter shortwave broadcast band. And it's gonna be AM only. This is in part inspired by Paul VK3HN's wonderful AM receiver. Anyway, that's the uh, the project as it stands right now. So far, the only thing I have on the board is the, uh, the variable cap. You know, look at that thing. Look, look at those gears. Those are anti-backlash gears because they grab the other part of the gear in both directions. They've got little springs in there. Look at that. This is amazing. I'm going to connect a little frequency indicating dial here. Could be as simple as a piece of plastic like this, right? Or it could be maybe an old CD-ROM. I've used those two, or no, not a CD-ROM, an old CD, a compact disc that we don't use anymore. I'll put it on there. It's gonna be magnificent. And I look forward to listening to shortwave broadcast stations on 10 KC wide AM with this receiver when it's done. Anyway, this is the on-hand receiver. I'll keep you guys posted.